previously on Splinter Cell Double Agent. Okay, Sam, here's the deal. I've got some friends. They call themselves John Brown's Army. We're gonna go meet up with them. I can get you in with us. If you're interested. And I'm thinking you just might be. Complete the training course. Open the safe at the end. There's one in there. Think you can handle that? Now when I get back, I expect the safe to be open and you to be here. Got it? Got it. Give me here. I'm Enrica. I'd love to chat, but I'm a little busy. You've managed to impress Emil with your credentials, though. He's gonna ask you to hijack a super tanker for him. Come back another time, please. Duty calls. The longer you make me wait, the less I like you. You know that? Now let's see if you're worth waiting for. Not bad. Now let's see how you handle something a little tougher. Come on. Ah, Sam Fisher. Glad you're here. I was getting a little tired. I'd like you to meet Cole Yeager. You might recognize him as the pilot from the news helicopter that Jamie was stupid enough to bring here. Here you go. What do you want me to do with this? What do you think? That's what you should have done. Enrica mentioned something about a super tanker. Did she? Hmm. Okay, I'll give you one chance to prove yourself. Your flight leaves in 30 minutes. Where am I going? Huh. You'll find out when you get there. This is your first real test for us, Mr. Fisher. Jamie has spoken very highly of your talents. Don't make a liar out of him. Enrica is in charge of this operation. She'll be handling it remotely, and I expect you will obey any orders she gives you. Right now, she's a great deal more valuable to our organization than you are. Don't forget that. But with your experience, I don't expect you will. Good luck. Tell me exactly what I'm doing here. I told you already, you're hijacking a super tanker. Where's my equipment coming from? You're asking too many questions. Looks like you've got some uninvited guests. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Snot Rag, and I am bringing more Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent on the Xbox Series S 
100% stealth. The hardest mission in the game to get 100% stealth on, but I'm gonna try it. I, I'm dreading doing this. I did it one time and achieved 60% stealth because one body was found. So I'm coming at you live right now to see if we are gonna be able to pull this off. First things first, we just gotta go over and get our gear. Nice and stealthy like, nice and silky smooth. Very nice work. Now over the edge and into the water, big guy. There Good. Go under the ice floes until you get to the ship. Should be pretty straightforward. Nothing is ever that easy. Alright, first things first. I learned that the easiest way to do this part Looks pretty thin right here I think I could break it's very it. challenging I... but this is the easiest way that I was able to do this so we're gonna come over here and the two guys that like to hang out by this wall with the explosive which I don't know why if I saw that many freaking explosives near a wall, I wouldn't want to be hanging around it whatsoever. I'd be gone. But these two can be very, very problematic because a couple things can happen. One, we hit the detonator and they die. You can try kiting them around or you'll get detected. But sometimes one of them likes to hang out by the wall so you can get this guy distracted and moving and then the other guy will die. So we need to take both of these guys out of the equation by knocking them out. We're just gonna wait for this guy to move. As soon as he does, we're gonna rise from the depths. And then we're gonna knock his ass out. There he goes. And sleepy night night. Sam Fisher, part seal, this part like great white shark. Now this guy over here, we're gonna have to take him out as well. If they're laying explosives like this, I guarantee they'll have one in the camp. Easy does it. Good night. Alright. Now. What I'm about to do will work, hopefully, because I, I'm pretty sure these guys weren't found in my last playthrough, so it, it's, it's got to work. So what you do is you come over here and you hide these guys in the water. In my other playthroughs that I have done where I have hid the bodies by throwing them off of the ship, that counted as a kill. So I think they patched how far a drop NPCs can survive unconscious. Sam, what are you doing? Nope, get out, nope. Right. Seals, I swear to God. All right, so I think they patched how far an NPC can survive a drop that will kill them. So we're gonna be doing something completely different at that part, but for now, no, Sam, get, stop it. Or, get up. Sam, piss me up. You're gonna go back in the water again, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. Next up, this will work 100% of the time. Grab some smoke grenades and throw them in the order that I do. You want to throw the first one closest to the terminal that we have to hack first. Throw this one here. Throw the second one on it as well, and then throw the third one a little further because that's the one that they will go investigate. It'll draw the guards away from you and give you plenty of time to get over here and hack the terminal. Walk slow here so that way they're not gonna hear us. Boom, got it, all right. Not one of my subless models. Yeah, whatever works. Oh, better get going. Yeah, Looks like the locals are getting all worked up. Go, yes. Silky smooth, boys and girls. Mm. I love it. All right. So that was pretty tough. But that was nothing compared to what we're going to have to deal with next. All right. First things first. 
we're gonna go up here and we're gonna break this ice open just to kind of set up a distraction so that way we can get moving. at the moment we're gonna wait for him to move there he goes make sure the other guy won't turn around and see us now's your chance get up there go Sam get up what are you doing Thank you. Jesus. slowly get to the water oh silky smooth <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a weirdo. Make sure that your OCP is equipped. We're not going toward the stern of the ship. We're going to be coming in, coming up on the uh, starboard side with the little boat thingy. And we're going to OCP this light here, so that way the guy on the uh, other little dinghy won't see us. I'm almost on the deck. That's it. Well, that I'm great. running the show now. It's time to see what Jamie's friend can do. Says who? Alright, this Says method that I'm about to do. Now clear out enough work. mercenaries that our buddy Masood can take over the ship. I'll let you know when you back your limit. This doesn't make any sense. Fisher, I'm detecting multiple heat signatures. So shut the hell up and start the body count already. Have fun. I'll be watching. Check your radar for their location, Sam. Sounds like a party. Okay. So we are gonna have to do this pretty hard and fast in order for this to work. We are not going to be dumping the bodies over the railing and having them fall down there because it will kill them. We're not gonna kill anybody, but I got dinged for a body that apparently somebody found. So as soon as they're done talking, we're gonna get up here, grab this guy, and then we're gonna whistle. What this is going to do is, the guy he was talking to is going to come down here and investigate. That's going to give us a window of opportunity to flank him, and then we're going to be able to surprise him, knock him out, and then we're going to continue on our merry way. We have to do this in this timely fashion because it lines them up so perfectly that it makes it a hell of a lot easier compared to if we were to climb up on the rope of the, uh, the stern and to come here. So get up here as quickly as you can, hike over here, And then we're gonna wait for him to emerge. This is easily the hardest mission to get 100% stealth on, and I, I couldn't do it. I recorded it and everything, and I got 60 because a body was found. So, let's try it again. So here's our boy. I'm that man. All right, leave him here real quick because there's gonna be another guard coming that we need to grab and knock out immediately. There he is. another guard over to the right of us as well. He might see us, but if you do this at this pace, you should be fine. We're gonna grab him, and then we're gonna bring him over to, I guess, those uh, tables. Knock him out there. And leave him there. Now this guy is gonna be a problem. Does. He's going that way. Right. Slowly. Good night. All right. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about, but we're not going to do. You see that little platform right there? That's where you can dump bodies. We're not going to do that because it'll kill them. And also, I don't know. I don't know what body was found, but we're, we're going to go police our bodies a little bit better. Especially this guy, he's a little too open. A little too out of the open here, so we're gonna hide him over where we took out our first guy. They they took away the sound meter in, in this game, so you won't be able to know how much noise you're making, which makes things a lot more difficult. But the snow and everything will give us slight concealment, but I don't know. 
you gotta be very careful of the next part up ahead. If you thought this part was hard, wait until we get here. This part is very, very tricky. We're gonna see if we can do it because I'm trying to save my gadgets for like emergencies and shit. Let's see. Now there are three guards here. There's one on a balcony and then there's one down here right behind this barrel and then there's another one I think to the right of that as well. So we're just gonna wait. Yeah, see, there's the guard on the balcony up there. Okay, there he is. I see him. Let's just wait. Take your time with this, because they have eyes like a freaking eagle. They have perfect sonar hearing like bats. It's This is very tough, and I was very disappointed that I was recording. I thought I got 100, but no, apparently a body was found. So... Uh, a bot, one body get discovered. No kills, nothing like that. One body get discovered will ding you a lot. It'll give you 60% on hard difficulty. Sneak up behind this guy. Hey, grab him. Thank you, Jesus. Got right, the other guys coming. Just knock him out right here for the time being. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Oof. Okay, he might be a bit of a problem. Is he gonna come over here? He better not be, he better not be, he better not. Shit. Okay. Hopefully I won't have to use this. of an emergency now the guard up here on this balcony has the eyes of a falcon so I'm just gonna wait and see what he does because too many times I have played and that man has spotted me first things first we got to move the bodies because if they find a body they see a body we're screwed and it's very difficult to hide bodies in this game and everything like that as well because there's barely any lights and shadows in this in this game which caught me by surprise when I first played it it still does it's, you, you take the core of Splinter Cell with lights and shadows and you make it more difficult for them that's what makes this game very very challenging is that they took away that core element and is like hey here's a whole bunch of light let's see how stealthy you guys are okay challenge accepted Try to find the balcony guy. I don't want to move because I'm afraid he'll spot me, even with the heavy snow. Probably gonna need to use our stinky shot here. Where is he? Is that him? Yep, that's him. If he can move closer to us, then we can tase him. Got him. Whew, good shot. Oh, good. Only nine left to go. Shut the hell up, Moss. I had to replay this mission 28 different times. Don't need your sass. Control tower. Easy. Good idea. The communication Oops. antennas are right at the That's top. That's a hard fall. <laughs> Think you can get up there and destroy them? All right. So that was the hardest part. What's taking you? That's done. Shut up. I just now got just confirmation gotta, from the We need the crew out of the way. You have fentanyl gas in your gear. Now, if you release it at the there's another guy up here coming up. To the rest of the tower. Look for some funnels. They should give you access to the ventilation system. From there, you can spread the fentanyl gas. Here! 
imagine. I give up. Yet I see your hand inching towards your pistol. Ah! Stop! What do you want to know? Tell me about the man in charge. Go fuck! Ah. Ex-Soviet admiral. Very good leader. A little unstable. Where? Probably the bridge. Call Lambert and disable this. Sam, good work. We managed to locate. What do I do? You need to keep building up their trust. Now blow your cover now. Lambert, they're asking me to clean up the place. I know. I know. Andre! What did you do? Andre! Have a look around for the air ventilation system. You can pump in the gas from there. Knock a gas inside a building can concentrate to lethal level. Rika, this can get very nasty. That's the goddamned idea, Einstein. I found the ventilation system. Let's keep moving. Next spot could be very hit or miss. But we'll see how well it goes. There's gonna be a checkpoint here. Seems like our friend the captain is a little bit edgy. Fisher, your friend the captain has become a liability. Take him out before he does something stupid. He seems to have escaped to the bow of the ship. Follow him there. I'm going after him. There's our boy. Okay, now this guy we're gonna want to get his attention somehow. We kind of want him to see us. He's all the way down here to the left. He's right there. So yeah, let him see us. Come over here into this container. No, I'm following him anywhere near the view. Is nope. Okay, we're gonna have to do something else real quick. There are what? Maybe a dozen pirates? Let's just give them what they want. Hello. Now he saw us. Okay, good. This is the perfect spot to initiate an ambush. Doesn't matter what I We're gonna get him secluded. He's gonna come into the container. We're gonna grab him. Negusta. Going to be helpful. You've got to give yourself up. Ugh. That's not helpful. Listen to me. The captain's going to scout the ship. Even if we survive, we'll still die out here. There's no other way back. So tell me where I can find him. Uh, he's in the fuel rooms below, sabotaging everything. There's a guy up there in the crow's nest. There he is. And there's another guy that patrols around here somewhere. There he is. Let's just go and say hi real quick. Guys, in the crow's nest, we'll go take care of him in just a second. Because I'm being really paranoid. I want to make sure that nobody finds any bodies. It's very, very hard to do this. And I don't even know which body it was. That's the thing. They took away um, the uh, stats uh, section. Like, you can check uh, how stealthy you were in Chaos Theory versus this one you can't. So you're completely in the blind until the, the level is done. Let's see what he 
windows first. Move softly. The last guy is in this room. He is pretty easy to take out. Go! I'll hold him here. Go! It's easier to grab the captain the the faster we go. I know that's a little weird saying that, but that's just what I found out with watching and then playing as well. talking about all right that's right that's right oh may gusta look at that oh oh nobody died almost zeros across the board who's the man snot rag is that's right baby that's right oh thank you oh sorry about that let me compose myself all right <clears throat> anyway uh but yeah, guys, <laughs> that's how you do it on uh, Hard Difficulty, uh, mission number four, the tanker mission. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. <laughs> yeah, but guys, seriously though, what a mission. Oh my god, so many headaches because of this freaking mission, and I did it. I'm so happy now, but now you guys know exactly what to do, so just follow my video to the T of what I do, and... Looks like it's guaranteed 100% for all you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. 
Stay tuned for more. And as always, stay frosty.